Hey boys and girls, today I'm going to have a quick tutorial on how to load arcade games onto a non-jailbroken iDevice with a new app called Gridly that came out a few days ago. This app is a is an arcade game that was never released in the arcade, but more importantly, it also contains the full version of MAME um, from MAME for All, which will allow you to play almost any arcade game you want on your iDevice. Um, there was another app a year ago called iMame that was released into the App Store briefly. I did a tutorial on that just for a friend and somehow wound up getting 7,000 views. So I'm glad I could help the community there and thought I'd try to do the same thing with this app here. Um, it's been a long year without any options for non-jailbroken devices. And with the new iPhone 5 out and the iPad 4 that don't yet have an available jailbreak, this is a great solution if you want to play arcade games on your device. So the process is pretty much the same as iMame last year. It's a very simple process. Um, you can download a, a, a piece of software called iExplorer, which I have running on my Mac here. Um, I heard this is now a paid version, so you can also use an alternative called iFunBox. But basically, both pieces of software just allow you to view the phone's um, hierarchy and use it like uh, Windows Explorer, basically, so you can see the folders. So all you have to do is go to the App Store, download Gridly for free, plug your uh, trusty phone in it will uh, appear in iExplorer here and uh, let me get up to the top here so when you open up iExplorer you'll have this and you'll have um, your two folders apps and media so you want to click on the uh, arrow here next to apps that'll give you the list of everything installed on the phone so you just want to go down until you find Gridly uh, expand that as I already have and within that you'll see the documents folder so you want to click on Gridly then you click on documents here and then you'll have the familiar hierarchy for anyone who's used MAME before. So within this you have a ROMs folder and if you open expand that you'll see that uh, Gridly is already in there at a whopping 25 kilobytes. So to load ROMs it's real simple. All you have to do is uh, download a ROM online you want to play. Um, in this case I grabbed Alt, uh, Altered Beast just because it starts with A and it's the first thing I saw. So all you want to do is just drag that over to the ROMs folder, let go, and there it is. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, the only thing you want to make sure of is that the ROM is formatted for version .139. That is um, the version that Gridly is using of MAME. Uh, if you use older versions or newer versions, you'll probably get an error code with the ROM saying it's missing files or they're incorrect or whatnot. So make sure they are formatted for the correct version of MAME. So once you drag and drop it over, you set to open up the app. And now instead of having the game here, actually i got to reset it. It was running in the... Uh, the taskbar here, sorry about that. To get the new the new ROMs to show up we have to uh, get it out of the taskbar and then restart the app. And then it's going to scan the folder, it'll find the new games. So you can see now, now that we have a new ROM on here, you immediately get this different interface of MAME that we're familiar with for those of you who used iMAME in the past. And you can see that Altered Beast is uh, showing up at the top there. So I think you just press B here, yeah it loads it up, skip past the uh, loading screens and bam it's running so works great in portrait works in landscape you can play it both ways here um, there's a bunch of options you can also set up for different button configurations uh, screen smoothing TV out all kinds of different things so the apps working pretty good I have it running on an iPhone 4 um, it's not the best performance you probably get um, the best bang for your buck on newer devices on an iPhone 4s or an iPad 2 or newer if you want to run the older games at 100% but it's doing pretty good right now at about 90, 95% there. So it's playable, but it's just a little bit slower. So that's the whole process. It's not very involved. If you guys have any questions, leave comments below. I'd be happy to answer as best I can. Thanks.